The content of a sheaf of documents leaked to the media earlier this week, including a pair of letters from in-house auditor Roberto Matos to Associate Director of Finance Edwin Alvarado, is being called to question. Wonderful. Earlier today, um, the Board of Directors of the National Institute of Culture and History convened a press conference to discuss its present state of affairs. I know I have the full confidence of the board, the directors of the institution, staff and stakeholders. Unfortunately, the media cabinet may have been misled by what was leaked and that's a position. The primary focus was a preliminary review conducted by Matos for the period April to July of this year, in which he cited a number of irregularities. In light of these findings, the board painstakingly went over the financials of the statutory body before concluding that there are stark errors in Matos's assessment. What we did was um, we followed due process and we asked the internal auditor to present his report to the board and to the management team which should have taken place before that report is signed off on. Um, it took us about, what, I think it was nine hours that we went through the entire report, line by line. And in that meeting, and we have minutes of that meeting, he acknowledged where he erred. And so he indicated to us that he would have made those necessary changes. Those inaccuracies now form the basis of the board's position, that contrary to what has been published in the media, Niche is performing well financially. We start off with the total income. If you notice the orange one represents April to July 2017 and the blue April to July 2018. So that's the same total income that I had mentioned in the um, profit and loss. 2,607,000 2, versus 2,971,000. The operational, you notice the one for 2017 is higher versus this year's 2018 at 2,145,000 for 2017 and 2,024,000 for 2018. Programmatic, 750 for 2017 versus 645 for this year 2018. So that would be for the graphical representations of the data for the profit and loss for those four months in question, comparing 2017 versus 2018. Allegations of mismanagement brought against President Sapna Budrani prompted the matter to be discussed in Cabinet on Tuesday. We understand that coming out of that meeting, Budrani was to have been placed on administrative leave pending the outcome of an external audit. In her own words, she remains at the helm of Niche and it is business as usual. I am currently the president of Niche. Um, whether I am on administrative leave or not, the letter has not arrived at my home or my address. Thank you. I gather that this was uh, voted upon in Cabinet on Tuesday. I believe it was a near unanimous decision that an external audit ought to be conducted uh, into the affairs of Mitch. Uh, is this then perhaps a defiance of that Cabinet position? Thank you for your question. I wouldn't be able to speak on behalf of Cabinet, however, Based on the presentation made today, it would be clear that our financial status is well. Um, so this decision was won by the board, by the directors, to present today. Whether an external audit would happen or not, that would be dependent on today's presentation. I was not given an opportunity to speak in cabinet, um, and all the information that was out there may have misled some. The fact that the board has taken it upon its own to set the record straight via this medium flies in the face of the directive given on Tuesday. Today's presentation may be seen as an act of open disobedience since it is not the external audit that has been ordered. I really wouldn't want it to go out there that we are defying the cabinet. This is not the case. We are here to say to you that the information that you're using the information that was presented to the cabinet for them to make their decision was inaccurate. We want to set the record straight. That's all we're doing. We're not defying anybody. We cannot defy the cabinet. They're the maximum authority of this country. Perhaps it would have been more prudent for Niche to make its case before cabinet first, as opposed to the media. Don't you think that it is proper that you be given the information? Because you have been disseminating information out there. You have been disseminating one side of the information out there. 
don't you think that it is only proper that you be given that information also? We don't control cabinet, you know. We don't run the affairs of cabinet. We run the affairs of this institution. And so what cabinet decides or what cabinet does is far above our level. We have no control over that. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.